Welcome back to another episode of Your Daily Dose. We're going to cover a couple of things, but mainly I would say that it's important to grab your free stuff every day. <laughs> and if there's no free stuff to grab, then don't play the game. No, all jokes aside, there are some cool stuff that sometimes they, they, they bring out. I mean, at the moment, it seems to be this limited times hero thing. They did change or add some stuff with the update, which isn't like terrible, but at the same time, it's like, is it really necessary? Maybe it's just some of these, um, I guess, added, oh, what's the word PB wants to use here? Just maybe some user friendly scenarios. We do have family first, uh, or the family fest, depending on what you want to call it. If you haven't already or don't understand this event, then that is absolutely a-okay. Normally I would do a video when these things come out, but I feel like it's pretty self-explanatory. You go in here, you spend your gold, and then you potentially um, spend your meat and your veggies and all the other stuff that you will normally do. Doesn't matter what you eat. Well, I don't feel like it matters which one you pick, but let's be honest, I really feel like just pick whatever one suits you. I don't even know why they give variety, I'm not gonna lie, it's not like I've ever seen this like change the results of the drop rates or anything like that, so I, I again, uh, I feel like it's a little bit convoluted. Like most things in the game, some things just don't make sense, and let, let's be honest, we're going to talk a little bit about the elephant in the room in a second, which of course is going to be the newest event. But you know the drill, grab all these things, grab all these things, and pretty much use them to buy something better. Uh, do I want fireworks or do I want ox? I kind of want ox. And the only reason I say I want ox is because there's just... Well, it's limited. Normal is limited to what you can buy. Most players can max this out anyway, so what we what I normally do is grab these ones. Normally I would grab these ones straight away, but because we're moving into the arcane gear era, be mindful that in the annihilation event, and I, I feel like this is relevant, so in the annihilation event, uh this is going to become available for a different currency. So it's not going to be mythic meteorite, it's going to be like superior meteorite. I really don't know what it's going to be called. However, it will be called something different. So you start collecting there. And of course, that means that you'll also be able to start to exchange them for the arcane equipment shards. Now, in saying that, should you still build your imperishable gear sets? Absolutely go ahead. But if you're already at the stage where you're making them into tier two and tier three, you probably don't have the value for them. So even one piece of excuse me, even one piece of arcane shard is like better than a fully upgraded maxed out uh, transformation imperishable at three tiers. So it's kind of crazy uh, just how strong these pieces of gears are. And that's exactly what you'll be transitioning into. So my suggestion is fill out whatever it works for you. Don't spend your gold on any of this stuff. Maybe these ones if you want to grab some additional firecrackers. But besides that, get what suits your account. At this point of the game, Index scores is probably the only reason why you would be buying this. And that's not a bad thing. I'm not, I'm not going to say it's a bad thing. I, I reckon I'll probably grab some of these for the index scores just, just so I can work on them. Uh, however, you know, PB is always one of those people that tries to advocate good value. And the hardest things to get at the moment is the military books because they took that away from World Conquest. So that really sucks. You can't get these each day. Another thing I would probably say that is, is difficult to acquire is um, these mythic stones. However, and this is up to everybody in their own interpretation, I would probably recommend starting to get everyone to minimum legendary, all of your relics to legendary. So I think I'm going to be focusing on that. But if you are like really mid-tier and your index score sucks, Maybe focus on finishing off your legendary uh, weapons, your legendary monsters or your beasts. And you can probably start working on your index scores as well. Yeah, it's... Mm, yeah, 
if you don't like the sound of that, like PV doesn't like the sound of that, because it is very, very boring, um, you can always just go with the advanced growth pack because this is pretty much what you will need in a nutshell. So if you don't know, if you're in doubt, grab the advanced growth pack. Uh, you won't go wrong. There's always things that you can upgrade on your account. And even if you have maxed out everything, which very few players have probably done that, then you can just buy whatever you please. Um, but yeah, work towards things. That's the project. That's the, the whole idea. I should probably say, I should probably talk a little bit about this though. So you can get the, the guarantee G5 for 400. Um, Kind of crazy when you think about the cost of a mythic skin at 2500 of these lanterns. So is that really good value for 400? Arguably no, you will probably just probably just save up for your mythic skin. However, you've already got your mythic skin. Then you could probably work on either maxing out your strategist. Um, sadly, I mean, well, yeah, it's, uh, maybe an index, maybe a mythic index. Oh, sorry, an arcane index because that would kind of be cool. But they, again, this is like really expensive. I'm not. This is not um, play money. This this is a few thousand dollars to acquire some of this stuff. So I wouldn't really say that it, it's it's fantastic. It's not a it's not a must buy. You can always save these lands up, of course. Um, a lot of players will probably will start working on their arcane equipment over everything else. You could max out Zuzgao if you really really wanted to. Obviously, the temptation is to build the sword. And while we're here, we might as well just grab as many of these shards. So you get 25 shards of the sword. I'll just grab those because if Annihilation Event turns out to be a dud, then um, at least I know the next family event, I'll be able to grab more of the Dragon Sparrow sword. So that's my take on this. If you are going to spend probably, um, probably invest in the Dragon Sparrow sword. Um, but if you're very, very close and you've been spending for Zeus Gal, then you can obviously spend a little bit to get this guy as well. Up to you. Dragon Sparrow seems to be the ideal choice. That's my opinion. Let me know in the comment section down below what your take on that event is. And I wanted to do this in kind of, I wanted to do this in order. So I wanted to do family first. Then we're going to talk about the shit show that's the summer of fest, but we should probably pull these six and I keep getting lots of shards and I'm not complaining, but I would really like a full hero, please. Uh, okay. 48. Uh, well, let me think. Probably take me three events to get that. Eh, who knows? Maybe I'll be able to get you to four star. If not, it's okay. Oh, three star. My bad. My bad. I skipped ahead of one. Um, maybe I'll be able to get you. Now, there's a couple of other things like Red Packet Rain. If you don't know this, make sure you have a look at the time on your server when this appears, and then you get a chance at winning some of these VIP packs. This is no joke, though. Like, that, that's legitimate. If you do win that, congratulations. Um, it will boost your account if you're a free-to-play. So I would recommend taking advantage of that and being on when that server time is. Again, starts at 12 p.m., Make sure you check out when the next one is in 15 minutes. Um, yeah, we'll probably be on when that uh, pops up, which will be great. Next is going to be the gold bag. Uh, if you're not familiar with this concept, essentially you have all these missions that you need to complete. You will be able to acquire a lot of these additional currencies, but mainly it's for the gold and maybe it's for the stamina. It is what it is. I don't feel like anybody really um, will get too confused about this one. So it, it'll probably prompt you where to go to in order to complete some of these, uh, I guess, tasks, if that makes sense. Uh, if you do get confused, there are many, many videos on this in on the channel. Uh, I think there's one under the beginner's guide, but you might have to check that out. I'll see if I can link it. If you do, if you do not know how to complete this event, I will go and find it for you and link it in the description field or in your comment. But let us know and um, we can try and assist you there. This one's the most trickiest one. You have to go into this one and you have to press the play button. I'm not going to press the play button uh, mainly because it's really, really loud and I don't like to. But once you press that play button, you'll get some additional gold. This one is a little bit easier. So you just need to go into a story mode and replay it once. Skip, go back and boom. So you do that every single day, which is fantastic. You'll be able to acquire some of these uh, blessings every single day plus you get some currency and eventually you'll be able to unlock 2888 gold now if this was 28,888 gold 
I would be a little bit more excited because let's be honest, 2,888 gold is not that significant when you think about it in the grand scheme of things. Is that complaining? Yes. Am I being wrong? No. I'll give you an example. Um, essentially speaking, you can start pushing your story mode, which means that your main protagonist star level will go up. By the time you finish this, you will have acquired at least 20 to 30,000 gold. So if you are really short of gold, make sure you push this one every single day. That also means that the historical has uh, unlocked the river. River Overlord, not a bad beginner charm. Honestly, everybody's just going to finish it off. In fact, while we're talking about that, I'm like 99.9% .9 sure. If I can get it. Yes. I'm pretty sure I finished this. I'm pretty sure I maxed you out. No, I haven't. Ha ha ha. Okay, so I need to still go back and do that. I thought I might have done you though, but you can never tell, right? Uh, is it worth like doing it? Yeah, sure, but... Should you stress about it? No, not really. Honestly, pick something that works for your account and then stick with that one. On a, I would say Moonlight Dancer is the best one. Still one of the best charms for the silence capability, even in the Arcane and Mythic era. You can still shut down a lot of uh, weaker teams. Anyway, enough chit chat. Everybody wants to know about the Celebrate Festival. Like you can tell, you will get one of these things. So you're going to get a power boost. You're going to get some summons, you're going to get some G4 gear set, which is fantastic. Um, you're going to get a title as well, which is going to boost your account power. So let's get into it. Cool summer or plus 5%. I would say that gave me, uh, you know, maybe 2 billion, which isn't too bad. This is, um, I guess this is the crux of it. So from a free to play perspective, if you don't want to spend any gold, this is pretty much Everything from the legendary down, anything that is gold and down, you are able to acquire. Um, G4 gear is absolutely obsolete because even the bare minimum uh, of a Kyrian, your mythical beast, you can get G5 legendary gear. So I would not recommend buying that. If you are literally just starting the game, I still wouldn't buy that. So th that's my perspective. I still wouldn't buy it. I would focus on grabbing your... First, Legendary Divine Beast, and then I would focus on building up the Hero of Your Nominated Nation. And literally, you'll be playing with them for about two weeks, and then you'll be shifting into Mythic. So, the game will be pushing Mythic on you like no tomorrow if you are a new player. Basically, the Legendaries are obsolete, which is absolutely sad. I mean, I wouldn't say it's sad. I, I, don't, I don't mind them, like, going and disappearing. But at the same point, people will say... Hey, it's good. I get it for the uh, the index squads PB, and that's fine. If you're a completionist, go ahead. Relatively speaking, though, you should be taking advantage of the mythic charms. You should be working on getting them all uh, upgraded to mythic. So you want all of your relics to mythic, meaning that you can use the family fest event to purchase uh, a lot of the legendary stuff. Uh, and once you get them all legendary, then you can transition across to the mythics. You will need a lot, like a bucket load, like a uh, metric crap ton. I think it's, I think you need, oh, and here, and this is just a guesstimate, but I think you need around 400 of each bird to fully rank up to uh, get yourself a mythic relic. So you're going to need like 400 of each bird. It's crazy. It is a lot. Maybe that's too excessive. Maybe it's like 250 of each bird. It's still a lot. No, I'm, I'm pretty... Yeah. No, it is a lot. I, I, now that I'm thinking about it, in the, in the, it, I always underestimate that, and that's the danger of it. But you do need a lot of those. And of course, you need to do that twice for each character. So you can never realistically have enough Mythic uh, Charm Selection Packs. Likewise, you can't technically have enough mythic stones. These ones are pains in the backside to get, except if you want to spend some wishing coins. So if you're looking at it from a completionist side of view, maybe grabbing some of these ones, maybe grabbing some of the legendary ascension packs, maybe grabbing some of the accessory stones. Um, but again, very, very limited to your situation. One thing that I will point out for the shop is that I am not disappointed, but I'm also not excited. So I'm in that little stage of, mm, yeah, okay, I can make some progress here. I can see what they're doing. They're kind of placating um, a lot of the mid-tier game players. A lot of the end game players probably would just look at it like, okay, so it's a free copy essentially. 
for gold, so it's not really free. But you know what I mean? Like, oh, it's okay. It's an additional copy of a beast. It's additional power up of um, one of my weapons, and I can potentially um, be very close to being able to get maybe one more index score for my generation five heroes. What's sad is that ultimately speaking, you still won't have enough to really make a. Yeah, it's not going to be enough for you to for set to seven star your five star hero. If you haven't been paying attention, if you haven't been participating in arms race, if you haven't been saving up your merit badges for the limited time heroes, this is probably not going to help you a great deal, but it will lead towards you being able to get it a little bit sooner. So I don't know. Let me in the comment section down below. Is it really worth spending 20k gold for these G5s? I mean, relatively speaking, if you got 300 gold, like 300k gold, I mean, yeah, it is, but... For me, I, I would questionably go with this one. As a new player, this is probably the one of the better values out of it. I certainly would be going with um, Fire Daddy. And then I would be working on the Generation 5 hero that you are currently using for that nation, specifically because the G5s are all DPS. If you're brand new to the game, I would strongly recommend um, getting Zhao Un. Uh, any of these will, will carry your, your team. Lu Meng, Zhao Dun, um, Gong Sang, and uh, what's this guy here? Zhao Un. Jeez. Zhao Dun? I can't even pronounce it. Old mate, Mr. Big Sword, and um, the annoying dragon dude. So, I would say this, out of all of the things to buy, they aren't terrible for gold, but the rest of it is pretty much a no-no. Um, if you're like PB and you love to gamble... Then absolutely go ahead and get one of these res uh like these random talisman chests because, I mean, who doesn't like to have a bit of a gamble with some gold? I would recommend not getting that until you've maxed out all of the other purchases. However, and I wouldn't buy anything below. Ugh, honestly, I I I would only buy the mythics because we we've moved into a mythic era. It just doesn't make any sense to have any of this uh, this bullshit basically. Um, if you want to buy these, they're limited to one-time only purchase, so you can only buy them once. Um, is it worth it? No. Honestly, it's not, because you can pretty much spend the same amount of money, and you can get a lot more selection for your bang for your buck, because at the moment, you're only really limited to... Is there anything decent to actually buy here for that amount of money? No, there's nothing actually decent to buy for that money. I scrapped that. Don't don't spend money on this because it's it's, it's a ripoff. There's literally nothing that you would want to buy. If you are a brand spanking new player, then I would suggest doing this. I would suggest going to this, and I would suggest buying as many of these as possible and building an arcane hero for the same amount of money. You pretty much will absolutely zoom your account up to god tier if you go ahead and do that, opposed to spending that money and basically getting ripped off because it's a ripoff. But anyway, let me know in the comment section down below. Are you enjoying this event? Do you think it's got any potential? The only thing that I would say is free gold. I like free gold. I don't know if there's any other real positives out of that. Um, I'm sure there's some updates hidden away that we can discuss in a future video, which I, of course, will happily go through. Just be aware that eventually you will get some free VIP, free gold, and free resources, as well as a cool frame. Overall, is this going to make or break your account? If you're brand spanking new, two weeks into the game, yes. If you've been playing the game since it first came out, like me and several others, no, it's not. It's really just going to be there for indexes and maybe a little bit of convenience. How long until Red Packet Rain? Five minutes, my goodness. I really don't feel like there's anything else that I want to discuss at the moment. Is there anything else that we can see? Maybe let's just have a, a quick geese. Have a look at some of the shops while we wait, while you formulate your questions, inquiries, or comments about the overall state of play of the game. Um, I would be very interested to see. I'm actually surprised they haven't put G6 in the shop yet, um, to be completely honest. And again, just from a uh, perspective, a value perspective, I mean, you can buy three of these a day for wishing coins. So is it realistically worth you spending um, 20k gold yeah, again, it really just depends on where you're at. You can get Sky Piercer here too, which is interesting. 
Um, you can get a lot of things here. Uh, did they add any more transformations? I don't think so. Any more titles? No. Any more equipment? No. Kind of a little bit disappointing. I thought maybe they would have added some additional things that could have zoomed up the accounts. Yeah, I still enjoy playing the game, don't get me wrong, but I'm also enjoying branching out and playing some other games. If you do have any other sort of recommendations, please let me know in the comment section down below. New season. Okay, buddy, I, I realize you're saying there's a new season. Can I go into the new season? The answer to that question is... Make me tap the screen, PB. That's the answer to that question. It'll let me go into Glory Hall. That's, that's interesting. So why can't I go into here? Huh. Bit of a bug. All right. Is there any other little things that I can buy? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure they haven't added anything else. I'm 99% sure they haven't added anything else. This kind of sucks. Ah, uh, this kind of sucks. Yeah. Oh, well. It is what it is, right? It is what it is. Mm. Red Packet Rain. Is it really a hard concept? I think not. Basically, the screen is going to start showering some things down and you just need to pick some random packets. Eventually, you will get a bit of a gold jackpot. You basically make five, 500 gold um, every time that event goes live. Just be aware of your timer. Uh, and then, yeah, as long as you participate, you might be lucky enough to win the jackpot. But besides that, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe, notification button. I will be coming at you with some more Naruto, Will of the Hokage, or Hokage Battle Jewels um, throughout the week because I'm definitely more engaged in that game at the moment. I think that it has potential. I certainly like the concepts. It's very similar in a lot of ways to AFK Arena and DOP. Links are in the description box anyway. So yeah, let me know. Did you actually think this was a good event or not? Till next time.